All right, on tonight's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our generative AI course, and we're still doing our vector databases modules. Let's have a look at what we went over tonight. Now, tonight we're still in our Chroma module, so let's have a look at what we went over. So basically, tonight we picked up what we left off yesterday, or we're just writing our code out, or writing down information we need to get our code started. But tonight we did actually implement a little bit of code, so let's pick up what we left off. See here. So note the instructors using a Jupyter notebook to write the code. We will need to download the articles from the website and unzip them. Since we are using VS Code, we cannot use these steps to follow. So we'll just use the Game of Thrones PDF again from our data. Next, we will call the data using the OS library. First, we have to import it. You can see here we imported the OS library. Now that we have imported the OS library, we can use it to call our data. Next, we'll start by importing our open AI API key. This is how we will do that. So let's get in the Where's my mouse at? So here's how we, uh, you know, we should notice already by the, like the back of your hand. This is how we brought our API key over here from OpenAI. Next, we uh, imported the rest of the libraries we will be using. You can see here, these are the rest of the libraries we need to code our code. Now we will load our data. Let me go down some more so we can show you exactly how we did that. So this is how we loaded our data here. Loader equals directory loader. And this is our address for our Game of Thrones file PDF located in our machine note the instructor used a glob parameter in this code to access all the articles downloaded from the website using the wget since we aren't using those articles we did use we didn't use the glob it's supposed to be didn't here let me fix that really quickly before we get so we didn't use the glob in our code but we can always read the documentation on glob to get a better understanding of it but for now basically glob is for all the text files in the data it is going to read the data from the entire text files this is how the instructor used the glob in his code. This is how he had his the loader equals directory loader. This is the address he had his uh, articles in. Then the glob equals the uh, dot slash all dot text. Notice that after the glob, there is a dot slash star. The dot indicates the current directory and the star represents all the things in that directory. So basically, it's saying that the glob is going to read everything in the current directory or all the text in the current directory, basically. So the glob is going to read every text in this directory here basically that's what that's implicating there like i said we don't have that because we don't have the exact same steps we're using so we didn't have to use that i'm just giving you a heads up on what it looks like and how it's used and next we'll create a method this is how the method will be created loader.load then we're going to assign that method to a variable you can see here document and we can use document to call our load data just by typing the uh, document as you can see now after we get after getting our document we can create a chunk we can do that by using this code, but before doing that, we'll have to import the text splitter to our code, C177. Let me show you that really quickly. This is what we're going to need here to use a text splitter, lane chain dot text splitter. So that's how we have that. Now we have access to creating chunks in our code. Now, once that's done, we can actually start using the uh, text splitter in our code, and that's what this will look like here. Let me take you over to the exact code where we're going to be using it on. Or the code where we're just having code and no notes so this is everything here as you can see this is what the code will look like with no note taken just pure code this is what everything looks like so again we're not going to be able to do much because of the open a open ai situation i'm not going to keep explaining it to you you should know what it is already but yeah i'm just taking the steps we need to actually move forward so when we do start doing open source we can move right along but of course i will keep you posted every step of the way for now it's the python poppy you guys stay gucci